Okay, so in this video, we're going to carry on where I left off in the last video, and we've got a very simple, basic 64 by 64 by 64 cube. Now, one of the things that we have to deal with in UDK is that when we've got static meshes, what it needs is a second UV channel to apply the light uh, the light map onto and this has to be very specific because on the on the normal UV the first UV layer what you would do is try to utilize the space as much as possible and quite often overlap or layer let's say the different all the faces into the one area so what we're going to do here is try to be very quick and show you how to go about make it make a material make a texture blah 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 and then go on to UV mapping so what we're going to do here is come on give me my arrow I want, I want to widen because this never comes out quite far enough for me thank you go on to materials All right create a new material give it a name Let's just go M B C box. I don't think this gets exported out with the FBX. There's probably a way to do it, but we'll just leave it at the moment. And in there, we'll put a texture. New. We don't want clouds. Yet again. Ah. Uh, going straight past it. Open. Now E basic blender box. Uh, which one did we want? Was it that one? Now I think it was that one we wanted. Let me just check. Yeah, that's the one we wanted. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go into UV editing. Now, as you can see, this window uh, yet again is uh, not what we wanted. So we'll scroll out there and we'll go into edit mode. Now you can do this by a tab if you wish, as I'm doing jumping in and out, jumping in and out, jumping in and out. Make sure everything is selected by using A. Yeah. And now we're just going to unwrap, straight unwrap, and we've got a plain square where everything is overlapped. So what we're going to do here is, very quickly, give it the blender box, and I'm going to press S to scale, and uh, now this is the mistake I keep on making. Now because I want to move, scale it down, I've got my mouse right in the middle of the screen and it doesn't give me a lot of movement. So I'm going to put my mouse up here, press S again, and draw it down. So we get about... That's pretty much what we had in the other box video. So what I'm going to do is just move this and let's put it onto the light blue. Okay, happy with that. So what we then do is go back here, can't see anything, go on to textured, and we've got a nice light blue cube. Okay. Now go back into the default. Uh, can't see anything there because it's still on shaded or solid. We've got like light blue bo box. Now this is fine if you don't need to light map it but we do. So, let me see if I can get this correct. Now with the cube selected, because we've got the orange bit going around it, if we go up here to the little triangle bit, which object data, data, God I'm getting very Americanized here, click on that and then we go down to UV textures. Now this UV texture here is the one that we've already got applied. So we want to add another one. With that highlighted, we go back into UV editing. Make sure we're into edit mode. Again, make sure we've got all the faces selected. Now this is where we get to a bit of fun. Now you can use Smart UV Project, which 
then does all the faces as separate as you can see there another little thing that I found earlier is light map pack now this could be in the future quite interesting yeah so pack quality margin I think we might want to add that up a bit because otherwise you might get a bit a bit of bleeding go like that. see you get a bit more space between them there okay so that looks actually quite whiz quite happy with that so then that means there's no overlapping faces and I'll show you why because we go back into default now as you can see there we don't want that one selected we just want that as the second UV layer okay so we go back there have that selected so you get back into object mode I'm trying to use as many of the buttons as possible here without using all the hotkeys because I'll forget to tell you what hotkeys I'm using and you'll get upset I know you will so what do we do now all right, we're going to save it now as you can see this I've done this a few times because I've been trialing so we'll call it box 3 and save that out and then we'll go into export export FBX and save it as box 3 I'll export it I'm just uh, I'm just looking at include that all of actions optimize keys for it. I'm going to have a look at have to have a look at that and read up on that shortly but just a quick one export that as FBX and we're happy okay now let's go into UDK meshes uh, I've already already opened UDK up and I've got my uh, BC content test preloaded so all we have to do is go on to import now it'll go straight into your UDK folder which is nice but not what I want I want to go into blender basics and box 3 open that up and go yep like that now in box 3 if we open the uh, static mesh editor you will now see that we have two UV channels now what I'm gonna do is get our blender box material the one with all the, the squares on it and apply that there now as you can see now I'm using the blender button to rotate it here not very good as you can see we've got a nice blue box now I'm just going to go into UV overlay as you can see UV channel 0 is just down here, here in, the, in the bottom where that blue colour is now if we go into channel 1 it's got them all separated that's what we want okay smashing so now we can go into here go back into there go save now this is where it's going to take a little bit of time so I'm just gonna drag that box into there right, we can get rid of that move that up a little bit and put it there now what now what I need to do is let me just check box one one UV channel good I'm gonna plop that in there he said did that work probably I don't think it did I don't think it did nope it didn't so I like that go there we go smash it right so we'll just lift that up there a touch Is that there? another bit there we go now if I compiled this map or rebuilt this map at this moment in time it, I'll let, it probably won't make any oh no it's not my saved map so just so you know yeah go into world properties and make sure use global illumination is ticked because yeah, 
once you tick this it will start using your light maps so then we go on to build all now I'm set on preview because otherwise it would take well it probably won't take forever because it's not that complicated map but we don't want to push the boat out too far at this moment in time because I don't have a workstation to play with I've just got my old desktop computer so uh, playing around here now hopefully once all this has done, done its business I'll be able to show you a little something which will prove our light maps have been accepted well the UVs the second UV channel for the light maps has been accepted now here's me just burbling along yeah 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 because th this is a I'd say not so much a problem but for people with the older systems let's say you using uh, global illumination will take things a little bit longer now here we haven't got yeah maps not built with production lighting yeah tell me about it now here is the area you get or we will get for this one box all right S S C B C box one static mesh has invalid light map coordinate index if you see that it means that static mesh doesn't have the second UV layout or cut UV coordinates for a light map now all you probably also get that if the UVs are not laid out correctly okay so that's all I uh, want to do for this video next video I'm going to be looking at a slightly more complicated mesh and see about doing a custom collision box built in Blender, exported from Blender into UDK. Okay, so we'll leave it at that and I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.